Thank you, Caroline. And our in-depth coverage of the October storm continues. Patience is dwindling tonight for many Rhode Islanders who've been in the dark since Sunday night. Now, we checked, and the city of Warwick currently has the most homes and businesses still without power. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lasciuto spoke with frustrated families. She joins us live from Warwick in the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. As you can see, parts of town do have power, but many are still in the dark. I spoke with families just two blocks from where I'm standing, and they're patiently waiting for their lights to come on. At the very end of Lake Street in Warwick, we find two apartment buildings. It's just, it's very difficult for everybody that lives here. Right across the street from each other. It looks like there's no end in sight for this. When our news van pulled up, multiple families came outside, all with the same frustrations many in Rhode Island are facing. It's been dark for almost four days straight. However, in this neighborhood, it's stepping outside that brings hope and anger all at once. Our whole street has power and just these two apartment buildings don't. They have lights. The people right next door to us, they have lights. So I don't, we don't understand what the issue is. A spokesperson with National Grid tells me that two power lines feed this specific neighborhood and one may be running while the other is still being worked on. The families tell me while they understand it may take time, they have worries of their own. My husband's on life alert mm -hmm. and I said to them, if there's an emergency, how am I supposed to get out or anything? I was recently in the hospital and have problems breathing. There's other people here that have health problems and they're actually been very cold. And a spokesperson with a power company tells me that those two apartments should have power by late tomorrow night. I'm also told that there are multiple crews in the area working as hard as they can. Reporting live in Warwick tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.